So this is just going to be a short video. It's kind of an afterthought on this little project. Um, I've just finished making a zero clearance throat plate uh, for my Felder K700S. Um, and I've finished one off the prototype and it worked. So I've got a couple more in process. And since it is an afterthought, uh, I've already done some of the work on, on these guys. Uh, I've already cut it out on the um, CNC. Uh, this was cut out originally out of half inch Baltic birch. I took it over and sawed it down to three eighths thick. And um, then I put the, um, this 20 degree bevel on here. Uh, I will be releasing for free uh, drawings that will have all these details, the uh, angle of the um, bevel, where to place it, how far down, all that stuff. Um, and I'll be releasing both DXF, which will have all that information for CNC users and a lot of uh, details and notes and stuff, uh, but also an SVG uh, for Shaper Origin users. So uh, these throat plates are, I, I consider them just utility. Uh, they're going to be very quick and easy to make, relatively so, um, and disposable. And I'll probably make one for each saw blade, maybe for a different operation, whatever. Uh, and, uh, oh, one note is um, I have um, don't have my scoring blade yet, so I don't know if there's going to be a notch, enough clearance after I put this stiffener piece on here uh, for the uh, scoring blade to rest under there before it plunges up and breaks through. So you may have to refer to how I route out for the uh, splitter to uh, also route out for the scoring blade if that's the case. Um, like I said, this is just for the uh, K700S. The, uh, uh, Felder somewhere along the line changed uh, the sizing of the uh, throat plate for the 700S. So check before you route. Uh, also, it may fit other models. I don't know, but if, if, if so, if it does fit, if you look at the drawings, realize the sizing is right, uh, let me know so I can pass that information on to others. So uh, after routing and cutting this down to thickness, the, the first, first thing, thing I, I did, did after, after those two operations was to put this bevel on here. You notice I'm doing it on the saw stop and not the felder. I tend to do a lot of my rip fence operations uh, on the saw stop. It just seems easier for me. Uh, and you notice that I'm not using zero clearance here, and I probably won't use zero clearance on the felder when I tilt it over, unless it's an angle that I use a lot, and then I might make a specialized uh, um, insert for that. Otherwise, it's just easier to tilt odd angles with the stock uh, insert. So that's what I've already done. Let's move on. To this little piece that goes on the uh, bottom of the plate, is a stiffener, quarter inch uh, Baltic birch as well. Uh, now it gets centered and I've made uh, tick marks right here to help me center it. The dimensions for this guy are on the drawing. Got that bevel to contend with, so I'm trying to get it not on the bevel, but back a little bit where I don't make this thing give a uneven pressure. Okay, we'll let that okay, we can take this guy out of the clamps now. And next, we're going over to the drill press. Then I'm going to put a little chamfer edge on this little hole here that gets the set screw where it won't blow out or tear out later. So now I realize I should have done this operation first, chamfer these little set screw holes. This guy's tippy, there's no support under there, but no problem. Some scrap material, quarter inch, the same as this, and all is good.
M6 by one tap. That's what the little set screws are. So next I'm going to uh, strengthen these threads with a little CA glue. This is the uh, really thin stuff um, and I've got a little tiny teeny tip on here. I want it to just, just to get enough in there to wick it. I don't want to get a lot of extra in there and mess the threads up. And then I'll come back and use some accelerator once I've got some of this and all the holes. So now I want to route a uh, hole, uh, an opening, uh, uh, for the ribing knife. Uh, I've already done the uh, prototype, so I already have the setting. I have a motorized uh, uh, power lift here. This one happens to be MLCS. It's got memory, so it'll come up and down at uh, given heights, so I can take it in little, bit, little bitty bites. And um, there's my stop right there. There's my starting point. Let's get started. So the plan is to have an uh, individual throat plate for each blade and maybe even for operations if I want to do an angle or, or whatever. Um, and so what I want to be able to do is have these set screws set so I can take these throat plates out, put them back and just tighten up these screws that have the downward pressure and get it right back to level very quickly. Uh, now, I'm not all that familiar with um, Threadlock, its operation, used it a little bit here and there, but I don't know how long uh, I have for open time. It says 20 minutes set. I don't know if I have 20 minutes open time, probably not. So the plan is to start here and progress down this direction, one set screw at a time, Level, level, level as I go. So, let's get to it. So one last thing here, right here, this bevel, it's tight quarters with the slider portion here. If you find it is touching, rabbiting black block plane, trim it down, you're good to go.